what are the roles that switches and routers play in K-12 cybersecurity? We won't go into the specifics of um, how routers and uh, switches actually transfer all the data, but some of the specific roles that they play is that your, your switch, for instance, can, depending on the type of switch you have, there are certain security protocols you can actually implement from the beginning. What this means is you can deactivate ports that are not being in use. Uh, oftentimes, you'll have a classroom with two ports, sometimes four, five, eight, 20 ports to connect a whole lab right there, right? And if all these computers or devices aren't using those ports, then to keep them open and live or hot, as they call them, can be a possibility of an, an attack vector that can be used against you. So oftentimes switches can be used to properly route the data to the right location, and it can also be used to physically shut down or turn off specific entry points that an attacker can use to get onto your network. Same thing with a uh, router, because this works at a, at a network level through IP addresses. What a router can do is oftentimes some of these routers can have built-in firewalls, so they can have built, built-in rules that allow specific IP addresses to have access to the network, or they can route specific traffic through IP information to a specific route. That way you don't have access to the entire network, but you can control access using access control list to determine who has access to what and where on your network. Oh, huh, that's interesting. So I guess I realized that, that when you are installing more network ports than you actually need so that you can grow. What you're telling me is is that the way you would keep someone from plugging into that port when you don't want them to is by just making it, what do you call it, cold? Do you turn it off? Yeah, uh, because oftentimes what happens is that you need to plan for the future, right? If you have a vendor doing some work to have them come back just to install one more port or two more ports can be quite costly. So if you do the bulk projecting at once with a mindset towards the future, you can definitely save funds and some resources by doing that now. However, though, while doing this and keeping in line with the cybersecurity principles, you don't want to give access to everybody only those that need it to the resources they actually need. And that's where the switches and routers could, could come, come into play so that they themselves, being the closest connection point to that wall plate, could disable that port so it cannot be used if it's not authorized to do so.